Sharks are arguably the most terrifying creatures in the sea. With teeth as sharp as knives, nothing is stronger than a shark. And to prove just how strong sharks are, me and my team have added them into Minecraft. And now I'm gonna be spending the next 100 days as a shark, all while my two friends, <coughs> fishermen, try and stop me from getting to day 100. I spawned in on day one as a baby shark. Hey, look, I spawned in as a baby shark. I'm so cute. This is amazing. Oh, God. And over on that boat there, that's the two hunters. Their job is to try and kill me and end this before the 100 days. I'm going to let them know the game starting by trying to bite one. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh I missed. Wait, wait. I missed. We got, a, we, got a, we got a big old fish. Oh. Here we go, one in there. Oh, we're going to be eating good tonight. Come on. Okay, now I'm going to start swimming away. He's getting away. No, we're not letting our lunch get away. Come here. Now, here's the thing. Now, I might be a baby shark right now, but throughout this video, I'm going to be upgrading all the way until I become the Megalodon. That's right. But it's going to take a little while. And right now, if those fishermen catch me, I'm doomed. Now, here's the thing. The fishermen also get their own upgrades, but they're a little different, and I'll explain them later. For now, let's just get away from them. Now, right now, we are a baby shark. We are very, very weak. Luckily, even as a baby shark, I swim super fast, faster than their boats, meaning I'm slowly ditching them. Okay, let's see if we can find an underwater cave that we can ditch them inside of. Okay, they went past. We're safe. Okay, let's quickly loot this ship, and then we'll head in the opposite direction they went, and get the heck out of here. Let's loot all this stuff from the shipwreck, throw on that armor, and let's get the heck out of here. Okay, we got away from the hunters. I found the perfect place to make a base. Now, if we go down here, you're gonna notice a giant water cave, which I think is the perfect place to build a shark base. Now that we got away, though, there's a few things as a shark I gotta tell you about. First, there are five different types of sharks I can turn into, with the last one being the Megalodon. On top of that, I have a bunch of different combat upgrades, and utility upgrades I can get. And you're also gonna notice there's a black bar on my screen right above my food bar. And let me show you what that's about. All we have to do is bite a fish, and you're gonna notice it starts filling up with a bunch of red. That is my blood bar. I'm a shark, I need blood. Let's fill that up real quick. There we go, now we have a full blood bar. Okay, now we need to go ahead and start getting some basic supplies so we can get started. Now, I'm a shark, so unlike normal players who can be on land and breathe, when I go on land, you're gonna notice I start drowning. So let's quickly break all this wood and get in the water before that bar hits zero. Get in! Ooh. We got three wood, which is definitely not enough. Let's get this last one. There we go, okay, let's dive back in the water. Now, there's something I wanna test. If I go ahead and make a wooden pickaxe and mine some stone, Okay, it seems like I break blocks underwater the same way I would on land, so that's good. Thank goodness for being a shark. A shark's life is actually pretty boring, which is why if I were a shark, I would definitely check out Rec Room. Rec Room is a free social game where you and your friends can play a ton of different games together. In fact, me and my friends in this video play the game all the time. And the best part about Rec Room is it doesn't even matter what system any of us play on because Rec Room can be played on pretty much anything. With over 12 million different rooms and games to explore, you will always find something for you and your friends to play. And playing with friends is super simple because of Rec Room's party feature. Now, while all that is cool, it doesn't even come close to my favorite feature. You see, in Rec Room, you can customize your avatar to look super unique. I mean, look at my avatar. I look so dapper. And you can too! Rec Room is amazing for gamers like you and me who just love to socialize with friends. What's that about? <laughs> you wanna go? In fact, while I was on vacation recently, I was using Rec Room to still play games with friends on my iPhone. Rec Room is the future of social gaming. And with games like TTT and Freeze Tag, you will literally never get bored. And if those games don't interest you, don't worry! Rec Room has a super easy to use play menu that organizes games to make them super easy to find. So if you're looking for a free way to have some fun with friends, then make sure you click that link in the description down below or scan the QR code on screen right now to get Rec Room 100% free. In fact, if you want a chance to see me in Rec Room, I'll be playing paintball in Rec Room right as this video drops. So come join for some paintball and say hi. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's make a stone pickaxe. And there we go. Now let's go into the cave and find a spot for our base. Okay, this looks like a good spot. I'm pretty deep in the cave. And if I need to escape, I can quickly sneak up this path right there. Okay, so let's go and let's start building the base and getting everything we're gonna need to survive 100 days. 
Yeah, okay, I don't think this is enough stuff. So let's go ahead and keep working on the base till I'm happy with it. So I started making my shark base over the next couple of days. And since it was deep in an underwater cave, it made it near impossible for the hunters to find. Okay, with the base complete, it's time to start working on some upgrades. So the first upgrade I want to start working on is my first shark combat ability. It's called Bite. And to unlock it, I need to kill two players and kill 50 fish. Now this is a quest. So when I click it, I've now accepted the quest and I have to work on it. So obviously to kill the two players, I need to go kill the fishermen. But I don't know where their base is right now. So I'm just going to work on killing the 50 fish. Now, first things first, I want to see if a squid counts as a fish. No, it does not. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go out to the lake real quick. Oh, here's some fish. These fish are bigger than me. Okay, there's three fish kills. Let's go ahead and swim a little bit and find some more fish. And there we go. We just killed our 50th fish. Then we're going to go ahead and just head back to our base. Today, we're going to do something amazing. We are going to kill the fishermen twice. Otherwise, we can't do the upgrade. <laughs> yeah. So let's do it. But first things first, I don't even know where they are. So I need to find them. Let me just cook up some of this food and then we'll go find them. I searched all of day six and still didn't find the base until the next morning. Okay, I found the hunter's base. It's literally right over there. So it looks like they built a little hut with a little dock and some boats. Let's go ahead. Let's sneak up on them. Let's see if we can find a way to get close. I want to get a sneak attack. Oh, this is perfect. One's coming. One's coming. I think one's coming. I'm going in for it. We're going in for it. One's outside. I'm going for him. Oh, <laughs> you get, get over here. Ah! Ah! We're going for him. I don't care if I can't breathe. Oh, I got one of the kills. Yes. We got one. We got one. Okay, let's go under here. Now, the thing is, he saw me come out one side. Will he see me come out the other? Yes, he will. Oh, dive back down. Now, let's see if they know where their water leads. Oh, they do. I think they can see my nameplate. Oh, this guy doesn't have a shield. I'm punishing him for that. Nope. <laughs> go away. He's trying to go, go away. In. Oh, I don't fit through the door. Oh, I'm drowning. Okay, I'm good. Please blow each other up. Ah, I'm dead. Yes, okay, we got the two kills. Let's back off for a sec. Now let's quickly do the upgrade while we're here. And now we have Bite, which apparently has a lunge attack that costs five blood, where I lunge. Oh, I'm trying to learn a new ability here. I'm trying to bomb him. <laughs> I can right click to lunge, and it also attacks like a sword. Yeah, nine damage. Let's try this out. Oh, that's cool. Let's get him. I can only use lunge in water. Gotcha. Oh, that's going to hurt, huh? Oh. Lunge down to water behind him. Let's go. Okay, we got a third kill. Let's do it. Cool. Ah! <laughs> They don't even see it coming. Yes. Whoa. Okay, you know what? We have our ability. I'm going to stop before I get myself killed on accident. Let's just go ahead. Let's get out of here for now. And I want to go ahead and start working on the next ability, which is called Feeding Frenzy, which allows me to heal half heart every time I kill an entity or eat food. And to get it, I need 500 kelp, 32 fish, and 32 coral. Now, I currently have 31 cooked salmon, but if I grab some of my cod as well, I already have all the fish I need. However, this is my food supply. Kind of don't want to use it up, so we'll gather the fish we need for this one. We're not going to worry about that for now. For now, we're going to get the 5 500 kelp because that's the most annoying. Okay, we've got all the kelp we need. Now let's head back to the base. So there is all the kelp we need. And now we just need 32 fish and 32 coral. So tomorrow, we'll get the coral. So today, we're obviously just looking for coral. And I've been looking for it, but all I can find is cold ocean. I can't find a single warm ocean anywhere. Okay, I think we're in a warm ocean because I see sea pickles. Oh, coral. There we go. Finally. That took way too long. Let's grab pink coral. There we go. That's the last of the coral we need. We got a little extra. Sorry, oceans. I didn't mean to, you know, kill you. What was that? Was that a trident? Oh, the hunters are here. Oh, he has a trident. Oh, they both have tridents. Oh, God. That must be their fisherman harpoons. Okay, I gotta be careful here. Let's use our bite attack. Knock him off. He's in the water. Oh, they're trying to hit me with him. He's trying to get him in his boat. No, I can't let him. Oh, ow. That actually hurt a lot. I gotta be careful here. I got him in the water again. Ah, uh, uh, I'm dead. Yes, he's done. One of them down. Okay, let's eat some food. Oh, we missed. Okay, let's get him. We'll jump and Oh, Bye. he's gone. Yeah, whoa, I'm in the water. I'm in the water. Okay, we got him in the water. I hit his boat. My boat. My boat's gone. I broke it. I'm being shark attacked. Ah! Keep dashing at him and we got him. He's done. He's done. Yes, we lived. Oh, okay. Anyway, it's night. So let's just swim back to the base. It's night. So let's just go ahead and swim back to the base because we almost have everything we need for this upgrade. Okay, the last thing we need is some more fish because obviously I've said this is my fish. So let's go kill some fish that we can actually give to the upgrade. 
There we go, 32 new fish. Now let's go back down to the base. Let's grab our kelp. Now let's do the upgrade. Now we have feeding frenzy. So now we should heal just off eating food and killing stuff, which is pretty much what sharks do. But let's go try the ability out real quick. Now if I quickly swim on land, obviously I'm gonna start to drown on the land. Now we're gonna take some damage. There we go. And now if I start to eat food, you'll notice I start to also gain health. Now you gain health naturally from doing that, but now watch. If I kill fish, I will also start to gain health. Half a heart. So yeah, I basically can kill stuff and gain health now too. Okay, it's time for us to pick our next upgrade, which is gonna be another utility upgrade called Rammerhead Shark. Basically, this is gonna let me double all ores, which is why I wanna get this one early, because it's gonna make any mining we need easy. And to get it, actually, is not too hard. We just need seven diamonds and 16 pistons. Since the pistons is kind of boring, let's go get some diamonds. Here's a bunch right here. Oh, wait, it's gonna be eight? No way. Oh, booyah, we, we're done already. We're done already. We just sped run collecting those diamonds. Anyway, let's quickly swim back to the base now that we have that and turn these into the diamond tools that they need to turn into. So we're gonna need a diamond pickaxe, a diamond axe, and a diamond shovel. We'll hold on to the three diamond tools because it actually doesn't matter if I use them at all. As long as I have the items, it's good enough. I'm actually gonna spend the rest of the day mining some obsidian and getting another portal made. Okay, now we just need to go ahead and get some pistons, which we should already have most of the supplies for already. Now, the only tricky thing is we need 16. So we're gonna need 16 iron ingots, which we have, 16 redstone, which we have, and a bunch of oak wood and cobblestone. So let's go ahead and let's make these pistons. Put the iron in the middle, and there we go. Bada bing, bada boom, we have 16 pistons, nice and easy. And now we should be able to unlock the- Bruh. Oh my God. I need three diamond pickaxes, three diamond axes, and three diamond shovels. Okay, I guess we're going back to mining. Hold up. I guess we're not upgrading yet to the mines. I'm guessing some of you read that and were like, uh, he needs three and he just doesn't realize it yet. You guys probably saw that coming. Booyah, diamonds. Okay, that's six. Even more diamonds. Now we just need four more. Okay, there we go. That is definitely enough diamonds. Okay, so now let's go ahead and make some tools. And there we go, that's all the diamond tools we need. And if we check our upgrade, we can now unlock Rammerhead Shark, which I've got to try out. I'm starting to run low on coal anyway, so let's mine up this coal that's just sitting right here. And you'll see I just rammed into it and mined it all. And now it has doubled the amount of coal that I got. Now let's just try holding it down and see what happens. Okay, that's kind of cool. But I still can't really breathe on land, so I gotta get back to water quick. Okay, it is officially time to stop being a baby shark. I'm sick of being tiny. It's time to become a tiger shark with 15 hearts, 65 blood, strength one, and resistance one. And to get it, I need 32 fish, 64 sand, and a single puffer fish. I pretty much already have the fish, but you know the drill. I want to keep as many fish as I can. So we're gonna go kill 32 fish and get all the sand that we need to become a tiger shark. There we go, we have all the fish we need, so now we just need to gather up a bunch of sand. Wait, there's a way easier way to do this. I have Rammerhead DNA, don't I? Way easier. Okay, there we go, we got all the sand we need now, so let's make our way back to the base. Okay, now we just need to get a puffer fish, because it's the last thing we need to become a tiger shark. Now, puffer fish are only found in warm ocean biomes, which is kind of a problem, and that's because their base is nearby it. So if I go there, they're likely gonna see me again. But we really don't have much of a choice, so let's head back there anyway. Okay, so we just have to find a puffer fish somewhere in this coral Hello? biome. Oh, spotted! I just saw him. I, oh, hunter above me, hunter above me, hunter above me. Oh, I need to kill that puffer fish though. Oh, yes, I killed the puffer fish, give me. Okay, puffer fish is dead. Oh god, but I forgot my sand and my fish. Okay, I have an idea here. There's a bunch of fish around. Let me just kill a couple fish. Oh, the hunters are really actually hurting me. Okay, let's use the coral for cover. And now we just need the sand. Oh! Okay, he can't stay underwater forever. Let's go down here. Okay, they're coming in. Let's swim again. Okay, we currently have 22 sand. We just need 10 more. Okay, we currently have 36 sand. That is literally all we need to do this upgrade. Now we need to kill a fish. Okay, there's a fish right in front of me, but he's near the hunters. We're going for it. We got it. Ooh, okay, let's do the upgrade. Let's turn into a tiger shark. We need 64 sand. Oh, I thought I need 32. Okay, that's fine. We're going to fight him here. Okay, they got diamond armor. Yo, they have diamond armor. I just realized that. I got to be really careful here. I don't I don't see him. I legitimately don't see him. Okay, we definitely have enough sand now. Let's go with let's do it. We're now a tiger shark. Look at us. We have more hearts and we're way bigger. Now we're talking. Oh, he's a little bigger now, I think. Oh, he's drowning. We have no more fish though, so we can be very careful. We have no food. No. Uh... Nice, he drowned. There's a fish right there. Let's grab it. Oh, we got him from behind. Let's go. He's drowning. You're gonna drown, dude. 
Dang it. Ah. Yes, he's done. We beat him as a tiger shark. Look how big we are now. Oh my goodness. We're huge. We took him out. And once again, the shark is victorious and we got our next upgrade. Okay, and we are home. And the first thing we need to do is get some food because we are literally out. So I'm going to start today by getting some fish. Okay, and while that fish is cooking, let's go over the next ability we're going to unlock. It's called rougher hide and I need to kill three players and kill 25 dolphins. So let's accept the quest. And now we need to do that. Now killing the players isn't going to be too difficult because I kind of know where their base is. So I just got to make sure I'm stronger than them. So we're going to upgrade our gear a little bit. But outside that, we just need to kill 25 dolphins, which really doesn't sound hard. But I promise you, it's actually insanely difficult. Dolphins don't spawn that commonly. So to be honest with you, it's going to be pretty hard to find 25 of them that fast. So let's go ahead and start killing some dolphins. I knew it was going to be hard to find dolphins. I legit had to spend three days of just killing dolphins to get the 25 I needed. And now I just need to kill three players to unlock our next combat upgrade. Okay, mission accomplished. We have the dolphins killed and now we just need to kill the fishermen three times. Now, I know where their base is, so as long as I can get a surprise attack, getting these three kills shouldn't be that hard. So, let's head to their base. Okay, here's their base just up ahead. Okay, it definitely looks like they've done quite a bit of redecorating. There's a massive wall preventing me from jumping over it and getting into the base like before. Did he see? Oh, he sees me. Yeah, I see you, Shark. Yeah. They must have seen me. I didn't even know how. Please. Yes, it's still enough. Okay, I can't stay up here long. Oh, wait, I can only use this. Oh, back in the water, back in the water, because I can't use it to escape. We got to be very careful there. Make him think I went that way, but we're going back to the water. Now, we need to get three kills on them, and then we can do the upgrade. He's got to be done. Yes! Uh. Ooh, okay, we need to get out of here. What? Okay, we carved a hole straight through their base. Okay, let's go this way. Ooh, get back in. We're low. Dash over here. Eat some food. Okay, let's see if we can destroy that base. Hold on. I have an idea. Now, let's lunge up on the wall. We missed. Yes, we can. And here we go. Okay, I'm destroying the base. Yes. Okay, let's see what's left of their base. Oh my God, let's grab their items. I got a bunch of their stuff. I got a bunch of their stuff. We still need two more kills though. He's drowning. Go see glide, go. Go oh, see glide. He is fast underwater. But that drowning is going to be the bane of your demise, man. Yes. Two kills. Let's get this guy while he's alone. He's got to be low. He's got to be low. Let's eat. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Yes! Three and three kills. Okay, let's quickly do the upgrade. Now we have rougher hide, which is going to disarm enemies near us. Let's give it a shot. Oh, wait, I destroyed their base. I don't think they're respawning. Can't really try it on them when they're, they're gone. Okay, let's dive back in the water then, and let's go home since we've finished the ability and defeated the hunters three times. Okay, so it is day number 20, and there's three upgrades to go in each category. And so it's time to work on the one I've been excited about the most. It's time for our shark to grow legs. You'll see in a sec. So to unlock this ability, we need nine lava buckets, nine obsidian, and nine sponges. Now, the obsidian and lava buckets aren't going to be that hard, so we're going to go ahead and get those done real quick. Okay, we have all the buckets we need, so let's just go grab some lava. There we go. We got the lava. Now, we just need to mine some obsidian. Now, getting the obsidian is going to be easy because we have this water and lava right next to each other, so we just pour this over the top, and it's going to do the trick for us. Now, we're going to need an actual diamond pickaxe to mine it, but once again, that's not going to be hard. I already passed a bunch of diamonds on the way here and just ignored them, so we'll just go quickly grab those and make a diamond pick. Here they are. Now, let's quickly turn these into a diamond pickaxe. Make a crafting table and make a diamond pickaxe. Nice and easy. Now let's go back to the obsidian and let's get mining. And there we go. We now have the nine obsidian we need, which means all that we need left is nine sponges, which are actually going to be a little bit difficult to get, but I'll explain in a minute. So you see, sponges only spawn in guardian temples, so I'm going to have to go find a guardian temple in the ocean if I actually want to go ahead and get sponges. Man, is this actually kind of annoying, because guardians probably aren't going to get along great with sharks. Oh, nope, they definitely do not get along with sharks. Ooh, okay, let's get inside this thing and get those sponges, shall we? There we go. We dug straight through the middle. Now we have an easy way through. Well, easy is an understatement. There's a lot of these dudes in here. Look, I just need some sponges. Oh, great. Mining fatigue. Okay, there we go. We killed the Elder Guardian, and he dropped us a wet sponge. Now we just need to find more sponges in here, because I haven't found really any at all. Oh, I found the sponges. They were up here. Okay, we found some. Oh, my God. Even more sponges. Okay, we definitely have enough sponges, so let's just go ahead and get out of here. Okay, good morning on day 23. We know everything we need to get steaming hot legs, so let's grab it. Up here is going to be our lava buckets and our obsidian. Then in this chest, we can find our sponges. Now, if we go there, you're going to see the sponges don't currently count because currently they're wet sponges. We need to dry them off in a furnace. So all we're going to do is stick it in there and let it cool down for a sec. And there we go. Now we have nine regular sponges. And now if we do the upgrade, you're going to see we can get steaming hot sea legs, which we now have gotten, which not only is going to let us grow legs on land, but it's all 
also gonna let us swim in lava. Yeah. So let's go try this one out. I mean, yeah, I would say I kind of can swim in lava. It's more like I can go under lava, see under lava, swim under lava, but I still just keep burning. And then let's try the other ability. If I jump on this land, I should grow legs. Bruh. Okay, I didn't grow legs. I can definitely breathe on land, so I know the ability worked. Hold on, give me a minute. I just asked our developers, and they told me that I don't start growing legs until I turn into a hammerhead shark, which means that's 100% what we gotta do next. Okay, if we wanna become a hammerhead, we need 64 bones, three diamond pickaxes, and 32 iron ingots. So let's quickly go gather up the iron and the diamonds we need, because with our mining ability, it's just really oh, easy. Okay, that's all the iron we need. Now let's go grab some diamonds. Okay, and here's our first diamonds that we're gonna need. Let's mine them with our ability. There we go, 29 diamonds. Anyway, let's go and let's grab the other two we have. And now let's make three diamond pickaxes. And those three we're gonna use for the upgrade and we'll keep the other one on us. Okay, now we just need some bones and we'll be all set on the upgrade. Oh, no way, that a skeleton spawner, let's go. This is gonna get us all the bones we need super easy. Oh, what a find. There we go, we have all the bones we need. Now let's make our way back to the base. Okay, we got all the items we need on us to currently unlock the hammerhead shark, so let's do it. And now we're a hammerhead. Oh my god, I'm huge. Look how cool I look. I'm a hammerhead shark now. Oh, and I got big old teeth. Look at those chompers. Anyway, now that we're a hammerhead shark, we should start growing our legs on land. And of course, that's the first thing I gotta check out. Oh my god, look what happened on land. I literally grew legs. So in the water, normal. On land, uh, I'm now legged. <laughs> Look how stupid I look. That's right. Imagine, see, imagine this chasing you on land near home. Anyway, from here, we're gonna go ahead and unlock the next combat upgrade. So that'll make it so there's only two more upgrades inside of each category. So it's time to unlock Wide Jaws, which requires us to kill four players, 30 squid, and 50 drowned. There we go. Now let's start by killing some squids because I need some blood filled up and I know there's some squids that spawn right over here. Hello, squids. Okay, squid's killed. Now we just need to go ahead and kill a bunch of drown, which is gonna be a bit more complicated, so let's get started on that now. It took me a couple of days to kill all the drowned I needed. I went around from underwater ruin to underwater ruin, literally just killing drowned until the quest was complete. Oh, and I also got a trident from a drowned, so that's pretty cool. Okay, now we just have to worry about the four player kills we need to get. But I'm assuming the hunters move bases at this point because, well, I kind of destroyed their last one. My bad. So let's go find their new base and let's go get the kills on them, and then we will have six more upgrades to go until we are done. I went all around the map looking for the fisherman's new base, but I couldn't find it anywhere. But that's because I was assuming their base would be on land. I mean, why would they fight me in the sea? I'm, I'm a shark. But that's exactly what they did. And to be honest, it actually fooled me. What is it? Oh, I think I found their base. It's definitely their base. I see a portal. Dude, I looked everywhere around for their base. I went all the way down here and I had to turn all the way here just to find it. This base was far, man. Okay, let's get up close to their base before they realize we're here. We need to get four kills and then we can get out of here. Let's, Let's do, this. do this. You hear that? Oh, he's on. Oh my God, he's got legs. Oh. Oh, he got up here quicker than I thought he would. Okay, let's dive back down. They have a bunch of TNT machines. I'm assuming they're gonna start setting them off. Let's see if we can get inside their base a little bit. Well, I think I found their beds. Aha, I baited them. He's going through our stuff. Nice, they're both in the water. This helps me now. Okay, here we go. Let's get them. Let's disarm them. Ready? He's drowning. He's drowning. Nice, he's done. That's one kill down. Ah, he got me. Yeah, you like fighting a shark with legs? Yeah, boy. Oh, he's running. He's running. Ah, oh, I hate sharks. He's got to be low. Nice. Two down. Two down. Two more kills to go. Okay, let's get back up on their boat and let's ruin a bunch of their TNT. Oh my gosh. Nice, two down. I need one more player kill. It looks like their beds are broken. They're not really respawning, but I still kind of need a kill. I'm just gonna wait here because I'm assuming they're gonna come back. They're not gonna want to lose this base yet. So I'm just gonna wait for them to come back because they should eventually. I'm coming after you, shark. I knew he would come back. There he is. I see him in the distance. Let's get him before he gets on the ship here. I'm not letting him get back to that ship. No, you don't. You're not using that sea glider to get around quicker. He's gotta be low, dude. Oh, I'm hitting him good. Let's disarm him. Oh, that was a sick!
sick lunge. Oh my goodness. We got him. We got the four kills we need. And now we can go ahead and get out of here and go on home. Okay, I've got some good news for you. Not only is it day 35, meaning there's only 65 days left in the challenge, but we also can unlock wide jaws, meaning there's only two more upgrades in each category. Now, when I have wide jaws, I can bite enemies and it actually will take away their air. So they're going to drown underwater much quicker when I attack them now. But with that upgrade out of the way, let's work on our next one, which is going to be called cannon fodder, which allows us to summon 10 fish that protect us from projectiles. They'll swim around me and protect me from the fisherman's harpoons, which honestly, those things are getting annoying. So we need that. Now to get it, we need to get 128 fish, 32 gold ingots, and 10 shields. Now that is a lot of fish. So let's get to work and start killing some, shall we? Oh, hunters. Oh, wait, I don't want them to see my base. I don't want to lose the fish either though. Oh wait, he's running. Where'd the other one go? Okay, let's dive while they're up there. Quick kidding. Did they see me? No, they're still up there. There's no way they saw that, right? Let's quickly take a peek. Utility. How many more do I need fish-wise? I need six more. Oh, they just broke through the wall. Oh, 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 oh. Ram him, ram him. Oh, you're going to drown if you're down here. In fact, let's get you in my jaws. Now he should start drowning. Look at that. He's bleeding and drowning. Get over here, you. He's got me. He's like holding me or something. I can't move. Those things must be rebreathers because they're swimming underwater and they can actually stay under there for a while. Okay, where'd the other one go? There's one above and below. Let's go for the one below. Oh, I see you down there. Yeah, he's stuck in my jaws again. I'm going to die. There's no way. He's done. Okay, where'd the other one go? He's looting my chests. He's removing the water from my base. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, God. There we go. I'm not stuck anymore. Where'd he go? What? Hold on. Grab these diamonds. Okay, we got five diamonds. Where did he go? There he is. Let's get him in our jaws, too. Let's bite him. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Nice. He's done. Okay, we killed him. But he kind of messed up a lot of our base. It's actually all messed up. And they found it. So they're just going to keep coming back. Well, that's obnoxious. Okay, well, here's what we're going to do. I think we have to move bases because they kind of know where this one is. So let's grab all our important stuff and let's just get out of here. After my base was destroyed, I moved to a new one pretty far away. And after some quick aesthetic upgrades, I was back to working on upgrades. Okay, so this is the new base. It's a little more cramped, but I kind of like it. I found this little cave. It was hollow on the top and had a little entrance. All we got to do is swim in right here. And then boom, we're at the base and it has everything we need. Chests, furnaces, enchanters, nether portal, you name it. This base has got it, including a bed. So yeah, I'd say we're in a pretty good spot. We have five upgrades to go and now it's time to work on terrifying gaze. Now to get terrifying gaze, I need to kill five players, kill 50 guardians and kill three ender guardians. Meaning this one is going to be insanely hard. Luckily, I found an underwater monument already. So let's head there and start killing some of the guardians and hopefully there's an ender guardian left. Okay, we're back at the other monument. And seeing as I just got mining fatigue, I would say that there is definitely still a big boy in here. There we go. One guardian killed. 49 to go. Oh my god, there must be another guardian still here. I just got mining fatigue again. Well, let's find that guy. Nice. Another one dead. Perfect. There we go. Here's the elder guardian. Let's take this big guy on because we need to kill three of these guys too. Yes, one elder guardian down. Now let's keep killing his minions around. Oh, we got another Elder Guardian. Let's go. There were still two more here. Nice. Two Elder Guardians down. Okay, so I think I've literally killed every single Guardian inside this temple. No more are spawning. When I go inside, there's literally no more in here. So uh, I think I need to go find another monument. I guess, hold on a minute. After killing a bunch of Guardians, I made my way to another water temple where I could find more Elder Guardians. Okay, let's break into this water temple. And let's see what who we can find inside. Oh, uh, hello. Let me do it this way. We gotta find an Elder Guardian. There's gotta be one inside. Oh, I see an Elder Guardian. May not be the right time to fight that dude, though. Okay, there we go, another Guardian down. We're almost at 30 killed. We still need to kill one more Elder Guardian. We need to clear up some of these Guardians first. There we go. We get all the Guardians dead. Now we just need to find that Elder Guardian we saw earlier. Here he is. Let's get him before we die, because he does a lot more damage than the normal ones. Did you just die already? Yes, there we go. He's done. That's three Elder Guardians and 50 Guardians officially dead. Okay, I'm right near the Hunter's base again. They definitely repaired their ship. Now, we want to stay hidden in all this grass so they don't see us as we come and attack. We need to sneak attack, quickly get five kills, and get out as quick as we can. Okay, let's move up. We just need to get five kills. Come on. There's only one on the base right now. Oh, my shield. My shield just got taken out by those puffer fish. Okay, one down. Unicorn somehow died. I don't know where. Stupid fish. Oops. Let's get in the water and heal ourselves. Oh, those puffer fish, dude, are killing me. We still need to get two more kills, and they are messing me up at the minute. Oh, he's coming in. Okay, wait, did he not see me? I don't think he saw me. This gives me a chance. One of them's on their own. Hey, look behind you. Oh, we're low. Okay, let's eat and heal for a sec. Let's go hide. 
We got him in the water. He's ours. Seagly, take me away. Ah! No! Nice. He's done. That's two kills. That's what we got to do. We got to get him in the water. On land, they're still too strong for me. Pufferfish again. Oh, oh, they took out almost 10 hearts like that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, it took, I did some damage to the side of their base. In the water. In the water. Yes. Get in. I'm so close to having him in. No, he got away. He's poisoned. He's got to be low. He's done. Let's get the other one. Oh, dude, those perfects do so much damage. Okay, we may need to get out of here in a second. Yeah, we're getting out of here. I think all my armor broke too. Yeah, all my armor is broken too. We need to get out of here. After almost dying to the hunters, I upgraded my gear over the next few days so I could get the last two kills I needed for the upgrade. Okay, we're back at the hunter's boat. Now we're hiding in the kelp so they don't see my approach at all. We're gonna be going in really aggressive here. We got full diamond armor on and we get the sharpness one bite ability now. So let's go in. Oh, he sees me. Oh, we hit him down. Oh, that's damage. We need to get him. That's a free kill. No. Oh, I got in. Now there's an easy way in and out. Dude, those puffer fish are annoying. He's got like a puffer fish can. Nice. Another one down. We need one more kill. Come on, we need one more. Cool. Oh, surrounded puffer fish. We need one back. Cool. Okay, let's get him ready. Launch ourselves in. All right, the captain goes down with his ship. Are they setting their own boat ablaze? Nice. We got five of five. Dive, dive, dive. Dude, they were trying to stop it so I couldn't get their kills on them. But it's too late. I got five of five. And you know what? I'm out of here with that. Okay, good morning. Let's turn in terrifying gaze, which is going to make it so enemies within seven blocks lose their breath. And now we only have a few upgrades remaining. Aerodynamic fin structure, piranhas, the great white shark, and the megalodon. And because there's two shark upgrades left, we're going to get the great white shark next. Now to get the great white shark, we need 250 fish, 32 leather, and three water breathing potion. I don't want to kill a bunch of fish again. I'm just going to get it out of the way and then go kill the 250 fish now. Okay, we've got all the fish for the upgrade, and now we just need 32 leather and three water breathing potions. So let's go start working on the water breathing potions first. Now we just need to go ahead and find ourselves another fortress so we can get some blaze rods. Okay, here we go. We found a fortress. <laughs> Okay, that should definitely be enough blaze rods. Now let's go look around this place for some nether warts. Well, there we go. We found some in a chest. And there we go. Some right next to it. Okay, there we are. Now let's go in. Let's go back to the base. And we're home. Okay, it's currently day 64. And we have a little bit we gotta do. Let's combine three of this cobblestone with one of these blaze rods to make ourselves a brewing stand. And now we need three bottles of water. So let's go ahead and swim up here and grab three sand. There we go. Now let's go ahead and make some bottles. And now let's put them in the brewing stand. Now to turn these into underwater potions from here, we're gonna need to find a puffer fish. So let's go ahead and let's go to the nearby coral reef and see if we can find one. Oh, there's a puffer. Oh, there's two puffer fish. Where'd it go? Did I get it? Grab it. Now we have everything we need to go ahead and make the underwater potion. So let's head back to the base. Okay, let's go in here and add the puffer fish to our brewing stand. And once that's done, all we need is 32 leather and we can finish this upgrade. There we go. And potions of water breathing complete. Now it's currently nighttime outside. So let's go to sleep and tomorrow we'll get all the leather we need. Okay. Okay, good morning. Let's go get that leather. And now we can do the upgrade. And now when we click great white shark, we're now a great white shark. This is the same shark that they've used in the movie Jaws. And on land, of course, I get legs. Look at them legs. Okay, we are doing so good. We only have one more upgrade inside of each category. Megalodon, piranhas, and aerodynamic fin structure. Now everything here requires me to go to the end. So I'm going to time this perfectly to finish all three up in one quick swoop. First things first, let's activate the piranhas ability because we need to kill six players, an ender dragon, and a wither. And we're gonna go ahead and start by killing the wither. Let's go grab some wither skeleton skulls because we're gonna need them if we wanna go ahead and summon this wither. It took over two full days of grinding wither skeletons to get all of the skulls I needed. And honestly, thank God, because I hate grinding for wither skulls. So let's quickly enchant our bow because that's really gonna come in handy for this fight. Now let's go fight this wither. Okay, let's spawn him in. Let's build it right here. And there we go. The wither is here. Let him heal up. Let's back up. Maybe we should fight this guy in the water so we can use our water powers. Let's go. One more hit. He's done. He's done. We got him. Get that star. Get that star. We are super low on HP. Huh? But that is okay and worth it because we defeated the Wither. Now we just need to go ahead and kill six players and kill the Ender Dragon. Okay, so we still obviously have to kill six players to do this upgrade or we can go kill the Dragon. But I think the player kills need to come first. But since I destroyed their base, I don't know where their new base is. So let's go looking. Okay, the Hunter's base is literally just up ahead. Instead of this ship, they're now living in a giant lighthouse. They may not be home. I don't see nameplate. Oh, no, I see them on top. They're on top. We got one outside. Dude, that almost took out my shield in seconds. I gotta be very careful because if I shield those things, they hurt a lot. Oh, we've got one already. Let's go. Okay, I spawned a bunch of fish in my area. They're blocking me from taking hits from the harpoon. That's right. Your harpoon can't get me with my fish, dude. <laughs> nice. You can't heal. I got fish too. Puffer fish. Oh, no. Two kills down. Nice. Dude, three kills. We are messing them up right now. Nice, there's another one. Four kills. Fix. No. Oh my gosh, she's got me. Okay, one's up front, one's up front. Oh my god, I'm so strong. I already took him out in four hits. Okay, I spawned a bunch of fish. He is toast. I disarmed him. 
He's dead. I just took the hunter's harpoon. Okay, you know what? Let's get out of here with his harpoon. It's mine now. We got the six kills, so it doesn't really matter. Let's just get out of here with his harpoon and steal it. Okay, now that we have destroyed the hunters and we have the six kills, we still need to kill the ender dragon, meaning we now need to go to the end. So to do that, we need eyes of ender, meaning we are already going back to the nether and back to that fortress to kill some more blazes so we can get their blaze rods and to get ender pearls from piglin. Okay, here's the blazes. Let's start by killing these guys. <laughs> Okay, there we go. That should be all the blaze rods we need. Now let's go find a bastion to trade with some piglins for their ender pearls. After getting the blaze rods, I made my way to the bastion near my nether portal. Inside, I got a ton of gold blocks and traded it with some piglins for some ender pearls. Okay, we got all the ender pearls finished up. Now we just need to go ahead and make ourselves the eyes of ender. And there we go. That gives us a total of 16, which is more than enough ender pearls to get there. And we even still have some blaze rods left over just in case. Now let's quickly enchant our armor just because we are going to fight the dragon. And now we have feather falling boots, which is definitely definitely gonna help against the dragon because he's probably gonna send us fly. Okay, that's everything we should need. Let's go to the end. Oh, the eye's starting to turn a little bit. We're getting closer. It went down literally right here. So let's just dig down from here and we're in. Now it's gonna go find the dumb portal. I see light up ahead. Yep, this is it. And we even got an eye in our portal already. Boom. To the end. Let's end a pearl over to the mainland and now let's get killing this dragon. Okay, unicorn and them just got eye spy. They're making their way to the end too. We got it. We literally got them all. We got all the trickles. Now we're just gonna kill the dragon. Let's go. They have netherite. I gotta be extra careful here. Come on, get him, Enderman. Oh, dude, he's just making them mad. Unicorn's dead. He's being dragon killed unicorn. Ooh! Yes! They're both dead! Ah! Dead. No, we just killed the dragon. Oh, what? He's back? Yes, he's done! Ah. You cannot shield me forever! Oh, he's so low! This dragon's toast. One or two more hits on that dragon, he's done. He's done. He's done. We sniped him. There we go. We got the egg. Let's go. Which means we can actually do our next upgrade, piranhas, which allows us to spawn 10 piranhas that attack nearby enemies. And there's only two more upgrades to go. We have the dragon upgrade for the megalodon. And now we just need to go get some elytra from the outer end for the flying upgrade. So let's go over here to this teleporter and let's build our way out there. There we go. And we are officially in the end. And what is that? I would say this is probably not natural. After only two days of searching, I found an end city with a ship on it so I could get some elytra. Okay, we found an end city. Okay, let's get up there. Let's get that elytra that's in there. Let's grab those elytra we need. Elytra acquired. Now let's throw on the wings, simply break out of the ship, and we can glide on out of here. Woohoo! Flying shark! Anyway, let's go back to the portal, and then let's head on home. Okay, it is day 83, and we only got two upgrades to go. Megalodon and the flying upgrade. Now to become a megalodon, we just need to kill two withers and mine some ancient debris. And for the other ability, we just need to make some jump potions and get some phantom membrane. Now we have to stay awake one more day so phantoms start spawning. So in in the meantime, let's go ahead and get those potions done with. Now to make a jump potion, we are going to need a rabbit's foot. So let's quickly head out to a desert and get a rabbit's foot. There we go, a rabbit's foot. We actually got one pretty quick. Now let's head back to the base. Let's put three glass bottles inside of our brewing stand. Now let's grab a nether wart. This is gonna turn these into awkward potions. And then we just add the rabbit's foot and they will become the jump potions that we need. There we go, three potions of leaping. And now we just need to get the phantom membranes and we'll have the unlimited flight ability. Okay, it's day 84. We need to go ahead and get the ancient debris for the netherite. Since we have a really good mining ability, I figured we might as well start digging down and just start mining. And the best part about being a shark in the nether is I can swim in lava. Finding ancient debris under lava is gonna make this way easier easier. So all we have to do is set ourselves up right in front of it, hold down our numpad button, and you'll see I doubled the amount of ancient debris I mined. I mined one ancient debris, but got two out of it. Now we just need to go ahead and do that for a few more. There we go. That gives us 22 ancient debris, which is obviously more than enough. So let's go ahead. Let's head back to the base and start turning that into netherite ingots. Okay, let's grab all our netherite scraps now that they're done. And let's just store those in there for now because it's nighttime and we need to start killing ourselves some phantoms. Okay, that gives us nine total. That's good. Good morning on day 85. We still obviously need some phantoms to kill, but we're doing really, really good on everything else. Let's start by grabbing our netherite scraps and all of our gold and combining it together. We're currently keeping the dragon egg right in this chest. We'll put the five ingots gets next to it and we're gonna go ahead and move our nether star into that chest as well because with two more nether stars we can turn into the final shark evolution the megalodon but first we gotta finish killing phantom he dropped two that's 16 that's all we need we officially have all the membranes we need so let's go back to the base and now we can get the aerodynamic fin structure which gives us the ability to glide and launch into the air let's do it and done it's not doing anything but that's because i kind of gotta go on land first so yeah i basically have an infinite elytra now even though i'm not wearing elytra okay we only got one more upgrade to go and that is to become the megalodon 
on. And all we need left is two nether stars. So let's go and get some wither skeleton skulls in the nether to wrap up this final upgrade. After spending a few days gathering wither skulls, the hunters showed up, but I was able to trick them into some lava where they died. After that, I just finished up getting the six wither skull and headed home. Okay, we got the wither skeleton skulls, all the soul sand, our enchanted bow, our sword, and we're pretty much ready to go. But there's one more thing I gotta do. I need to go ahead and make a smithing table because I have four netherite scraps and four gold ingots, meaning I have one netherite ingot, meaning I can turn my sword into a netherite looting sword, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's summon these withers, shall we? We're gonna fight them one at a time and we're right next to a river. So there's an easy place for us to hide into. So let's get the soul sand ready. And now let's spawn the first wither. There we go. Oh, we barely killed that guy. He almost killed us. Okay, before we fight the second guy, let's quickly go make some more diamond armor. There we go. All protection, two armor, and feather falling, three boots. There we go. Another wither spawning. Let's go and let's fight this one. There we go. Second wither down, and that was way easier that time. And now we have two nether stars. And with the one we have at home, we can officially become a megalodon. Okay, let's grab everything we need for the upgrade, which is going to be the five netherites, the dragon egg, and the one extra nether star. Now let's quickly go to sleep and wait till morning. And now it's day 93, so let's become the megalodon. Ba -ba -da -ba! I am huge. Not only am I, you know, the size of my base at this point, we'll notice I have a giant harpoon sticking out of the top of me and scars all along my sides. Now at this point, I am the strongest possible shark in the game. I have every single upgrade possible, and now all the hunters have to do is somehow defeat me. But I don't think that's gonna happen because they're just lame fishermen and I'm the Megalodon. I'm gonna do something I've never done before. I'm going to tell the hunters where my base is so they can come fight me once and for all. Now here's the silly thing. I, I don't actually fit in my base anymore. So uh, we need a new entrance and exit. So I guess we're just gonna break the ceiling. There we go, I need a four by four gap just to fit out. Anyway, let's go put our base cords in chat, shall we? There we go. I've given out my base cords, so let's see what they do. Okay, we'll just stay in the seaweed near our base until the hunters arrive. Let's do it. Let's kill that shark. I want to make a shark tooth necklace out of him. I see a boat. I see a boat. I see a boat. Okay, they're on boats. Do those have cannons on them? I broke his boat. Okay, let's get him in the water. We got to use our drown abilities on them. That's really what's going to get them here. Okay, let's put up cannon fodder, so that way we have some people around us to protect us. Oh, we got him here. We got him on the ropes. We got him on the ropes. Nice, I took out the boat. Come on, we gotta get him here. He's gotta be low. He's done, yes! I'm gonna die, I'm on two hearts. He, he won't leave me alone. No, come on. Nice, we got him out of the water. Let's keep getting him. Oh, we got him already, dude. We are a monster as a shark. Smile, you son of a... We need to head to their lighthouse base and take them out once and for all. Let's get going and we should be there by morning. Okay, the lighthouse is just up ahead. Let's go attack them. Oh, wait, wait. One's in front. One's in front. He sees me. Got him. Hit with the harpoon. Is he latched onto me? Hold up. We need to kill this guy. First off, you're blind. Okay, now he shouldn't be able to see. Nice, he's done. I think this might have been a mistake. Ah! Okay, let's go to their base. Okay, here we go. We're going up to their base now. We killed one. Okay, one's on the roof. Okay, I cut open the whole side of the base. And I have it in the ah! Oh my god, he just blew a hole through our thing. And now all their stuff is definitely gone. Oh my god, they give me slowness and weakness. I'm so slow. Looks like we're out of arrows, but their base is toast. I don't think I found any beds yet, though. Oh, we got him. He's done. Shark attack, baby. God, that poison is brutal, though. Where'd the other one go? He's on the roof. Their spawn must be somewhere on the roof. Nice! Oh, I block clutched it! Let's get around their base. Let's go around this side. There it is. I knew they had a hidden room up here. Oh, wait! They had a hidden base above the glowstone! It was redstone. I was probably supposed to find it, but I destroyed it instead. I mean, that works. They don't have any beds anymore. You okay down there? Um, I'm managing. You gotta get me, though. I gotta beat right here. I gotta beat here. His shield's broken. He's done! Dude, I can't <gasps> eat. Why can't I eat? No! One of them is down! We only got one more to go. We can definitely kill him here. We are OP as a shark. I mean, we are a shark with legs. I'm on a heart. I'm on a heart. Oh! <laughs> he literally quit after I did that. Wait, are you guys quitting? Hey, yeah, this, this, how are we supposed to beat you? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go to Applebee's, dude. Hold on, hold on. Before you go, you got to at least wait till day 100. That's the rule. Could a shark survive 100 days in Minecraft? Yes. Yes, it could. After the fishermen called it quits, I made them build me the ultimate shark tank.